Strathclyde Business School is part of the University of Strathclyde, which itself has a very vibrant agenda of um, research, knowledge exchange, collaboration, major partnerships with industry. And in order to do that, we've set up some fairly robust structures to manage how people from industry can can work with us. So for example we set up uh, the Centre for Corporate Connections which is really currently the housing um, of all of our executive education programmes and our bespoke um, MBA programmes um, with various companies um, including Standard Life, including William Grant, um, including Iberjola, including Babcock, um, V Ships is another, um, another organisation with whom we work. And Within the centre, what we conduct is a very robust needs analysis with every one of these organisations. So they come to us to say, we'd like to talk to you about executive education, about what our needs are, about how we remain competitive in, a, in an increasingly um, aggressively competitive uh, environment. And we sit down with them and we actually analyse with them what they think their needs are and also what we might think their needs are and we come together in, in such a way as to collaborate. So there's a very clear doorway there into you know, if you are a senior executive and you want to invest in your senior team that we will work with you very collaboratively through the Centre for Corporate Connections. So that's one mechanism that we have for consolidating our relationships and building them uh, with different industrial partners. We also have a, a number of business fellows um, who are people who are sometimes alumni of, of Strathclyde, sometimes not, but they are people who have an interest in furthering business education either because they are perhaps entrepreneurs and they want to see more of their experience translated into undergraduate programmes perhaps translated into postgraduate programmes or perhaps also reflected in the nature of the research that we do. And they work very closely with us to do that. Uh, they give uh, the odd lecture, they provide live case studies and case histories. In some cases they mentor very closely undergraduate students. Essentially to join the Business Fellow Network what you need to be is in your own right um, have a command of an area of business and a wish to help us make sure that our programmes are relevant for your businesses, but also beyond the business of a particular, you know, a particular fellow. Sitting alongside that, we also have a very prestigious advisory board, and these, again, are people who are from a mixture of backgrounds. Sometimes they are um, from the public sector, um, so we have the Chief Executive of Scottish Enterprise um, gives of her time very freely uh, to advise us on where we're going in terms of um, our role for business education. We also have the, uh, the managing, one of the managing partners of the Boston Consulting Group in Mumbai working with us on that. We also have an operations director at the highest levels of an international um, hotel real estate chain. And those are just some examples. We have people from financial services industry. I have other international deans uh, on the advisory board as well, just to make sure that, uh, that I'm not missing um, some of the major themes that are coming through um, in other business schools as well. So we're well advised and, and uh, connected to very different types of, of, of industries and commerces. And also we have um, input from the public sector because again, many of our students, both at the undergraduate level and postgraduate level, will go into roles where they are working with, uh, with the public sector. And issues of managing revenue, of being entrepreneurial, of managing tight resources are all the kinds of issues that they will cover uh, in a programme here that are important for the development of the public sector as well.